Ah, oh, that took a bit. Look at that sour toast. Like, it was surprisingly long. <laughs> oh, three star. Good. They were fully healed. Um, hey everybody, welcome back. Um, so I've been out here catching Pokemon. And it has been very rough for several members of my party. Uh, nah, keep old moves. Okay. So, I still need to catch a pseudo Wudo and a uh, few other things. But, uh, I I'm good for right now. Um, I also caught a Wimp Pod uh, while I was on. And, uh, this episode is gonna be interesting because I'm actually... Here, let me, uh, fly. I'm, like, so confused right now. Um, let me fly back to Hillbury for a second. One second. Okay. Um, so we actually have a guest with us today. Uh, this is Flash, my editor. Hi. Um, uh, Flash is here because we're going to be trading some Pokemon. Um, mm -hmm. so, um, as I mentioned earlier... Uh, there is a Farfetch'd for a Salandit, and a Sock for a Throw, and that's basically what we're going to be trading today. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we can actually get the trading work, because last time we did trading, it was very finicky. Yep. So, set link code. I still don't quite understand why they did the whole thing with the link code instead of just letting you select someone from your friends list. Yeah, that would have been a lot easier. So let's go 624... Sorry, 6280. 6280. Okay. Oh, I think the lock is because we have a code equipped. Probably, yeah. You know, I always wondered that for some reason. <clears throat> Searching. Okay. There we go. So the first one we're gonna do is sock and throw. Okay. Yep. Yeah. I think we found each other. I don't know why. I think last time we just ran into a bunch of people trying to trade at once. Yeah, we probably had a code that was just way too common. Yeah. So, um, before we trade over the Farfetch'd, can... Uh, because there, there's something interesting about the Farfetch'd, you need to have the leak. Mm-hmm. Um, and the large leaks that I have. Um. Yeah, let's quit the trade for a second. Um, the large leak that is inside of the, uh, that you use for food is not the same leak as, uh. Yeah, it's not the same leak that you would use for cooking. So I can't just equip. Whether or not this is the kind of vegetable stock that Farfetch like is unknown. Yeah, you can't actually equip this large leak to him. So, two things. One, can you name the Farfetch'd, um, um, Frederick? And can you make sure you send over one that has a leak? Sure. Uh, do you... Yeah, I'll get to that. Give me a second. Um... To put that into my party... Yeah. Um, this is actually a very spur of the moment episode because this happens to be a day that I can't normally like record. 
So... So yeah. Uh, Doing this a bit spur of the moment. But it just happens to be a day that we have together, so... Uh, how do you want me to spell it? Uh, I will... Text it. Okay. Okay. Fred, Rick. <laughs> okay. Uh, doesn't look like we have anything else to sell for right now. We have like a single Poké Doll. Oh yeah, we need more Great Balls. That's what I was right. doing. I'm ready. Uh, let me just grab like 30 Great Balls. That should be okay. Okay, then we're gonna... Uh... And now we're going to trade again. Uh... 6280 again. Yep. Oh. And there we go. Okay, slammed it for far fetched. Hmm? Yeah, look at him. It's so big. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, there's one huge leak. Mm. I just like the fact that four... The four new birds to this game are all competitively viable, and I'm like, that's really great. <laughs> <laughs> but the problem is that I now have to evolve Farfetch'd, which, if you don't know, you have to get three crits in one match. Yup. This is gonna be kind of hard. That's why it's great that it's holding the leak, because that increases its crit chance. Uh, I now need to teach it, like... Uh, I now need to teach it, um, focus. So you said the luck incense was better than the yeah. amulet coin? But why though? I think it's because it raises it more than just half, but... It says it doubles. Hmm. Yeah. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, coin as well, though. Well, let's look at it. Um... Amulet, Amulet coin. coin. Item to be held by a Pokemon. No, doubles any prize money received if the holding Pokemon joins a battle. So it, it does the, the same thing. <coughs> huh. That's the, the exact same text that is on the incense as well. Hmm. I wonder if it's because of a... Uh... Yeah, and I wonder if the Amulet coin actually works better on Meowth. Hmm. Oh well, I'll just leave the luck incense on mine. Um. I mean, technically, you could trick the game by having one with the incense and one with the amulet coin, and then making them both go into a battle. Maybe, but I don't really. Technically, that should. Technically, that should triple your price money, or even technically even quadruple it if one applies before the other. Yeah. Oh my gosh, there's just like three wimp pod there all just running around. <laughs> oh, did you get the high-tech earbuds, by the way? Yeah, I made sure I got that. Okay, good. Uh, let's see if we actually get this guy. 
Because this is a wild stung fish is really annoying. Let's go Razor Leaf into Mega Drain into False Swipe. Huh. It's actually two incense that. Whoa! That okay, it used Revenge and instantly killed me. Let's use water then. Okay. Full incense. Item could be helped by a Pokemon. This exotic smelling incense makes the holder bloated and slow moving. Why don't I want that? It reduces its speed by like two points at the beginning of a battle. Yeah, but why would I want to decrease my Pokemon's speed? I'm happy that they're not like, fast as they are. Um, you would then use Trick Room. That makes it so that fast Pokemon are now slow. So now your incredibly slow Pokemon now goes first. Mm. That that's what I basically know it as. Mm. Oof, that incense is also expensive as well. Yeah, when you do a lot in the uh, in the wild area, money becomes no problem. Okay, let's see if this works. Has a debilitation. Uh, let's try to use a Dusk Ball then, because we're inside of a cave. Don't have too many of them, so hopefully this works. Nope. Okay, using my last dusk ball on it. And if not, it's dead. Yep, it dies from fire. No. Oh well. Because I burned it and it has like one HP left. Mm. So there we go. Yeah, these guys are really hard. I can't wait till I can finally get Ultra Balls. Yeah. The Great Balls are so bad. Alright, guess I'll make my way over to Hammerlock now. Yeah. I'm. I'm ready oh. to. What's up? So, um, to round off this episode, how have you been enjoying the game so far? Um, it's pretty good. There's a few things that kind of annoy me a little bit, like the weird arbitrary catch level limit. And I feel like they did it. Oh, boost electro type moves. Um. I mean, I, I imagine they probably did it so you can't just go to the wild area at the beginning and, like, catch something really powerful. Yeah, and critical uh, capture a, uh... But what I find incredibly stupid is that the level is like preset for every like badge you get. So right now I have like three badges and I can only catch things up to level 35, despite the fact that my party Pokemon are already level like 43 or 44. Hmm. They, I would prefer if they made it so that you can't catch anything that's above your highest level Pokemon. Yeah, kind of like, same here. So if, if, so if you're, or tie it to your starter if you have to make it so that it's the same level as your starter because right now my my cinderace is level 41 i'd be happy catching stuff at 41 so i'm i'm facing a mudsdale right now in the wild area and i can't freaking catch it because it's one level above the limit yeah and it's just that's just frustrating and super annoying like, I've seen a lot of cool Pokemon that I would have wanted to catch, but just couldn't because this weird arbitrary limit exists for no reason whatsoever. Yeah, I kind of feel that. Luckily, I can do all of that on my other Switch. Oh! Oh! <gasps> my Corvusquire is evolving! Neat. Yay! Corviknight get! 
Aw, oh, sweet. I'm still trying to make sure that none of my Pokemon go too high of level. Because I, I still want the game to be kind of challenging. So I don't have any of my Pokemon get to level 27 before finding the third gym. Hmm. Ooh, Corviknight wants to learn Steel. Wing. One second. Okay. Um... That should be about it. I'm gonna just spend the rest of the day just organizing my box. Because <laughs> I caught a lot of Pokemon. Mm -hmm. uh, I still need that Stung Fisk, but I think I'll just come back later. Mm. When I'm like really over... When I'm... When I have a lot of levels. Oh! I got a little uh, update that your Corviscore evolved. Yeah. Well, anyway. I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.